Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we're talking about more Transformers Rise of the Beast figures. Now, these are mostly going to be repacks, and they're mostly taken from the Bumblebee movie line with the speed whatever changer things they were. You know, the things with the little pullback motor things that allow the figures to move. Uh, well, that's basically what we're getting here. And it's no surprise. I know some people, oh, sorry, some people are probably going to be upset by that because, oh, they're just reusing toys. That's not really a new thing. They've done that pretty much forever with the movie line. So it shouldn't come to any surprise. But uh, yeah, this is what we're getting. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that the toys seem to have this Autobots Unite logo. And most of the images seem to come from Walmart, so I think that this is going to be a Walmart exclusive line. And they're actually reusing one of the side titles that was used for the last night, because most of the Hot Rod toys that came out around the time that were Walmart exclusive had the Autobots Unite label on the packaging, so I think that's what's continuing here. But yes, this is the Bumblebee that has already been released for the Bumblebee movie, in fact I already have that. And I'm totally fine with it, you know, it's the classic Camaro. So if you're going to do a Legion-sized Bumblebee and you already have the mold, I guess that does kind of make sense. Uh, we are also getting a Barricade, which is, again, the same thing. It's that classic 80s cop car. So I I'm totally fine with that. I, I like these figures. I like the line in general. So if anyone missed out, here's a second chance to get them. And I imagine that eventually we'll get the Optimus Prime because he's very stylized like that. I'm kind of hoping for the Cliff Jumper and the Hot Rod because I actually missed out on those. So that'd be nice to kind of catch up and get. But so far from what we're seeing, it's just the Barricade and the Bumblebee. But future repacks could change with that. Anyways, we're also apparently going to get the repack of the Megatron. Now, for those who are confused why it looks like the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, I believe the reason why is because when the Bumblebee movie was coming out, that was starting off with Studio Series, and they had just released the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, so that design was kind of relevant, so they decide to make the Fast Changer, Speed, whatever figure into the Revenge of the Fallen style Megatron because he wasn't even in the Bumblebee movie, so they might as well just do that. So basically, it's just a repack of that. Nothing really special, nothing really too much to talk about there. Now, when I saw this image, I thought, oh, cool, Ironhide. It's kind of funny to see a modern movie package with the first movie Ironhide design. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. They're, they're redoing it. But then I thought, oh, that looks a little too orange. Maybe it's just blending into the package. But then also it has red eyes, which is more traditional to the bad guys. So I thought, huh, that's kind of weird. Apparently they're using this mold and turning it into Battle Trap. Now basically it's just an orange version of the Ironhide. I do like the fact that the little pullback speed thing is going to be in purple. But yeah, that's basically all they're doing. They're just brightening up the Ironhide. Uh, and I will say the truck mode does look pretty good, but then you've got the head mold that's the original Ironhide, and that just doesn't really work out. But uh, as for a toy, I guess it's whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. I'm not going to get upset about it. It's just a thing that exists. Now, I am curious what they'll do for some of the other figures, because I imagine that these aren't going to be the only figures out there for the line. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, for the truck mode, it, this is okay. Robot, not too much. But uh, I also need one of those pullback things, because I've got all these little speed little guys that uh, don't have them, but you can connect them onto it. So uh, with that out of the way, that is pretty much it. What do you guys think? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudeads. And I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime.